Hi there! Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will demonstrate how open source data can be collected from Facebook. To know more about how social media benefits open source intelligence activities, I invite you to watch another video on our channel. You can find the link to it in the description box below. Let's start with understanding the data points that can be collected from a target Facebook profile. Some individuals provide a detailed account of their personal information on their Facebook profiles. You can collect data like current location, contact details, email address, work location, relationship status, schools studied at, family members, etc. You can also find uploaded media like images and videos. For each media item, you can find the exact timestamp at which it was uploaded and the list of profiles that have liked or commented on the post. It is possible to find the list of places the target had visited recently using the check-in feature. You can also find information about the target's interests in books, movies, and music, along with list of other pages liked. A profile can be public or private. Depending on the security settings on the profile, you can gather open source data from it. Some targets provide minimal information on their Facebook profiles. Now, I will demonstrate how you collect information about a target from their Facebook profile. This is a public Facebook profile. Within the intro section, we can see that the target has provided a number of personal details. Within the About section, you can find a detailed account of their personal information. Within the list of friends, you can see the individuals this profile is connected with. On Facebook, when you accept a friend request, you automatically follow that person. You can find the photos and videos uploaded by the target. For your investigation, if you have a specific time window you are focusing on, you can search for posts made at that time. Within the Check-ins tab, you can find the list of places visited by the target. Finally, you can find the list of pages liked by the target. You can find reviews posted by the target in commercial pages. If you have a specific keyword you are looking for, you can conduct a search across the target's entire profile using the search feature. Every Facebook profile is assigned a unique user identifier. Even if the target changes their name, the user ID remains the same. To find out the user ID associated with a target profile, right-click anywhere on the profile page and select View Page Source. Here, perform a search for the phrase user ID. This is the user ID associated with this target. There is a tool called Intel Techniques that runs search queries across a target Facebook profile with the profile's user ID. Most of the initial searches here that we performed manually on the target's profile a while ago can also be performed by this tool. Additionally, you can also use Facebook's search feature to conduct specific searches. Let's search for posts containing the keyword OSINT that were made in 2021. There we go. You can also perform searches for other Facebook features like photos, videos, pages, places, and events. I would recommend getting familiar with Facebook's built-in search feature. For a single post, you can view the list of profiles that have liked this post by clicking here. You can view the list of people that have made specific reactions. For every comment, when you hover over the time information, you can see the exact date and time at which the comment was made. This timestamp is relevant to the time zone your device is currently operating in. You can also export the comment made on a post using tools like exportcomments.com simply by providing the post's URL. Here is a private Facebook profile. There is some information about the target, and we do not have access to their posts. Let's copy this name and utilize search engines to find any comments made by our target in other public posts. We will use the site filter to display only results from Facebook 
and place the target's name in double quotes. Let's open this result. The target has commented on this public post. In this way, you can view the other search engine results to collect information about the target's activity. Now, let's talk about the URL assigned to Facebook profiles. Facebook URL are typically of the form first name, dot, last name, dot, a number. Some first name, last name combinations are quite common. The first profile created with a specific name is assigned the number 1. The subsequent profiles created with the same name are assigned the numbers 2, 3, and so on. Let's say you know the target's name, but there are numerous profiles with the same name. You can manually perform searches for the target's profile by specifying the first name, last name, and by using consecutive numbers. Even if a user had changed their Facebook name, the URL still contains the old name. However, it is possible for a user to modify the URL assigned to their profile. Facebook is one of the most valuable sources of data for an OSINT investigation. I encourage you to set up your own anonymous account, pick a target and collect all possible data about the target from Facebook. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!